question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> What well, risk is going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea is probably. We're waiting for that storm to arrive here in Southern California. <laughs> it looks like there's a baby <laughs> down below. All right, Santa Clarita, 57, 66 degrees in Achino, Santa Monica, 61, 55 in Ventura, and Irvine, 64 degrees and 62 in Pasadena. We'll talk about this storm. He walks now, guys, so I'm, I've lost all control. You're 30 degrees across central Mississippi. Well, hey there. I don't know what's going on, but Zay doesn't know. <laughs> Take a look at what's going on right now. You want to point out the weather right now? Yeah, there are farts everywhere and toots. Uh, we'd like you to explain the significance of Hanukkah, if you would. This begins our eight-night festival of religious freedom, but because we of the Jewish community share in the concern for the hostages being held in Iran, for they too are suffering under a contemporary form of religious tyranny. The question now is how do people respond to their scandals? For the wider region, I think one of your children's just walked in, but I mean, shifting uh, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, it's unclear at the moment what effect former President Gun Hae's impeachment will have on the territories. Unfortunately, discontent in South Korea is not only related to President Gun Hae's administration. <laughs> Okay. This is a major announcement uh, for South Korea. On the border, their concern is that they want. Um, their concern is that they want to have a, a Kurdish. Excuse oh, me, my no. my kids are here. Live Minister David Cameron was talking about. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's my son arriving. Okay. Sorry, really embarrassed. To to a sort of local government level, and in that case, do we say, well, Leicester's been useful. We've got an example, um, and and we're improving our systems as a result understand how this is happening. Now, quite honestly, this should have happened a long time ago, in my opinion. But here we are in this situation, and so, you know, his name's Christian. Christian? Yes. I'm just deciding where it can go, where Mummy wants it to go. Oh, right. Where does Mummy want, want it to go? To well, that's good not to have all of those nasty illnesses. And it's toddler takeover on live well, TV. A two-year-old steals the show as she interrupts an interview with her mom and brother about milk allergies. I think initially it's quite overwhelming. Two-year-old Iris stretches her leg like she's practicing ballet, then hoists herself up onto the... There's a new little star interrupting live TV. You're all right. You just carry on there. Scandals happen all the time. Uh, the question is, how do the democracy respond to those scandals. Uh, so the question then becomes, um, if it, North, I apologize. Uh, me? Ah, oh, there's your so, nanny. That's not my nanny, that's my wife. So Ow! the the policy, South Korea's policy towards North Korea is severely limited. Ex-gas in the airport in Malaysia that indicates that there's ah, uh, on the part. There's your mom. That, hey, wait, hey, that, who are you? Hey. Bring that back! Hey, stop! Dead. Ramachay's son Colin stole the show, Anderson, at the ceremony playing peekaboo at the presidential podium, as you see there. The pre Kids, the, the love and care that they need.